Yo, what's good Tristans and Trist fam? Today we're gonna react to this video called The Best of Simon Cowell Against Silly People. Generally speaking, when it comes to Simon Cowell, like, the vocal coach side of me is screaming, oh my god, you can't talk to somebody like that who's like, struggling to sing or trying to learn how to sing. But then there's another side of me that's like, sometimes what he's saying, like, sometimes it needs to be said to certain people, but maybe not on TV. <laughs> But anyway, we're gonna react to this video and see what we think. Before we get started, be sure to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Let's go. Hi. Hi, how are you? Come in. Well, and what's your name? My name's Andrew Fenlon. Andrew. And why are you here, Andrew? I'm here auditioning for American Idol. Should be fairly obvious right. at this point. Okay. Also, like, waiting around. Okay. Um, I think you know why I was asking the question. What, what brought you here to audition? What brought me here to audition? I don't think it's that interesting of a question, actually, but Andrew, I think... Andrew, Andrew, yes. I'm going to just warn you now. If you okay. want to carry on being a smart ass, you can leave the room. Oh, I'm not being oh. smart. So either answer the questions okay. or leave. Okay, no, I'll answer the question. In fairness to Simon, when you're auditioning for something, you really don't want... You don't want to be debating with the person who's asking you questions or arguing with them or trying to be clever. They got a lot of people to see in a very short amount of time. You really just want to do your best to leave a good impression, answer their questions <laughs> briefly, but still show off your personality without being obnoxious. I'm sorry, first of all. Okay, what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing House of the Rising Sun. You know that song? I'm just, okay. Right, Andrew, you are really pushing this. <laughs> no, I, all right, I'm just gonna sing it. I'm sorry. And so here's the thing. Everybody knows House of the Rising Sun. It doesn't matter what song you're about to sing. If they've got a question for you, they'll ask you. You don't need to add anything extra. That's just gonna annoy them. Push any buttons. All right. Okay, here we go. There is a house in New Orleans. It's called the rising sun. Actually, he has a pretty good voice. I'm gonna tell you why I think he's not gonna get through. His rhythm. <laughs> his rhythm is just not very good, but his voice is really good. And it's been the ruin of many a poor boy. And God, I know I'm one. My mother was a tailor. She sewed my new blue jeans. It's not bad my at all. My father was a gambling man. Way really good, actually. Down in New Orleans. And he's also breathing in some awkward spots. If I were to coach him on this, he would need to have some way of keeping the tempo. And also, I would want to give this to him in a higher key because he, he needs to show off a little bit more of his voice. I know he's got those high notes in him, but he's not showing them off. And you've only got a few seconds to really impress the judges here. Thank you. Are you angry? Am I and he angry? does come off as angry, yeah. He, Tell us. That, that's a good point. He, he seems to be bored almost while he's singing, which I don't think is true. I think he's nervous. But he obviously hasn't rehearsed or auditioned this enough to uh, be comfortable in front of the judges. What happened? I oh, just am on edge from waiting all day, huh? Some what? Just from waiting. It's just Well, you know, waiting. the thing is, you want to be in the music business, oh but you don't want to wait to get into American Idol. That, to me, seems to be a problem. And, That's you know, for one. you to have a bad it's attitude true. about no, that kind of pisses me off. I think you're reading actually. it too far. No, no, I'm not reading it too far. Don't argue you with just, them. You just say, I'm sorry, like, it's my fault, like, and hopefully they give you another chance to sing. That you had to wait Very three annoying. hours yeah. to come in here and get your shot when there are people that would wait years to do so. Absolutely. So I am now angry at you, who I don't like at all. <laughs> well, why are you doing this? So why with all the attitude, oh, sorry. What's, the, what's the problem? No, there's no problem at all. I, I think that... I don't know why you guys... There's no problem. You walked in mm -hmm. very sulky quite rude, <laughs> very aggressive, and you've got very, very bad energy. Oh, man. You do. Yes or no? It's sh like, okay, so here's the thing is like, even though he's got a really good voice to him, and if he were to work on his voice a little bit, the timing and things like that, it, that wouldn't matter if his attitude is negative. <laughs> Realistically, it doesn't matter how good your voice is. If people in the industry don't want to work with you, they don't think you're reliable, they think you're negative, or they think that you're going to be a detriment to the people around you, they're not going to want to hire you. Andrew, no. I'm sorry. Victoria? No. Randy? Wasn't good enough today, dog, no. I would have said right. yes. 
You're what? kidding me. I would say, kidding. It's starting to grow on him. I had a feeling you and I were. Yeah, we started off bad, but kind of got to like each other. A bonding. You know what, Simon? You have an attitude, but you're at least charming. Everybody's searching for a hero. People need someone to look up to. Thank you. She's got a good voice, but her vibrato is so unnecessary. Uh, sometimes people will try who can't do vibrato to add vibrato to every single note. People want somebody to look up to. And if she just cut that out, she would sound a million times better. Randy. I don't think that you're a solo singer at all. I think you're I'm more. I'm sorry? I don't feel that you're a solo singer. I don't feel that you have a solo singer's voice. <laughs> There's no such thing, by the way. <laughs> you can learn to have a solo singer voice. <laughs> I'm quite sure I sing a whole lot better than you do. And for you to tell me oh, I'm no. Tamika, Tamika. Enough, 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 enough. enough. Oh, no. I'm hurt. I'm hurt and I'm angry. You Feisty. Me. You're not standing where I'm Welcome to American Idol You're Smackdown. You're not standing here being judged by people about how you sing. You're not singing, are you? And for you to tell me that I need lessons. Tamika, Tamika. So here's the thing is throughout your career if you want to be a singer you're gonna to have to audition for a lot of music directors who can't sing <laughs> you're gonna go through a lot of unfair auditions i went through an audition once where i didn't go through but one of the worst people <laughs> i can i can talk about this now but one of the worst people who i thought was auditioning went through because they happened to be f the director <laughs> and everybody knows it by the way everybody who is auditioned for a show has been in shows they know that it's not fair it's not always fair and the people who are judging you or deciding who you get in are not necessarily better singers than you but you don't talk you don't argue with them that's that's not the way that you play the game that's not what it's just simply not Tamika, go to an audition where they lie to you. Thank you very much. Sorry for that. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you very much. And to be fair, by the way, in real auditions, not American Idol auditions like TV auditions, they're not going to insult you to your face and tell you you're not this, you're not that. That's never going to happen. That's just for TV. But still, the feedback from the judges is helpful because these people are experienced in the industry. So to take the feedback, come back next year. But today, I'm going to be singing Tenderoni. I want your love. Okay. <clears throat> Baby, uh, I think of you. I think of you a million times a day. Uh, Baby, uh, I cannot, I cannot get you Oof. outside my head. This one is not redeemable. <laughs> At least there's not a couple of quick, simple fixes like the other singers. She needs a lot of work, um, to be completely honest with you. So regardless of how she behaves or acts in this audition, there's no hope for her. It was going to take her a few years of, of, of training in order to get to the, a level where she might have a chance. Crazy and this always about you. All that I know is I belong to you all, baby. <laughs> oh I want your love. <laughs> I need your love. And that lip liner needs some work as well. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm joking around, but seriously, I mean, how you look is really important when you're auditioning for something. You can't be coming in looking like a hot mess, like you were just out drinking all night. It's, you're not, it's not a good look. Her pitch is super off. She's adding a lot of uh into it that's completely unnecessary. It's just not going to work. Oh, give me your love, give me your love, baby, and I want your love. Give me your love. She has some potential, like some of those notes can would sound a lot better if they were on the pitch, but she's too loud as well. A lot of people will try and sing super loudly to make up for the fact that there's things to work on with their voice because it makes it sound good to yourself and your own ears, That, but it doesn't sound good to other people. In fact, it makes you sound much, much worse in a lot of, a lot of situations. Oh, give me your love, give me your love, give me no, your love. No, no we're not no. going to give you any love. <laughs> it's a terrible audition. Opinion don't mean none. Oh my god. Then why, then why are you here? Opinion don't mean none. Then why are you oh here? You don't leave no stone unturned. Then why are you here? Well, what you know about music? Well, why are you here? Why am I here? Yeah. Why are you here? I'm here to judge you, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Well, I'm here to sing. You don't know nothing we about music. We didn't like music. the singing. That's the rule. All right. Well, I really don't care. You don't Good. know nothing about music. Okay. I've never heard you do a demo. I've never no. heard you well, spit a Well, I wouldn't lick, want to sound so like you, you Jennifer. I gotta be honest with you. These people 
can oftentimes be some of the worst people to work with. Yeah, he's being rude to her and that's not something that any, like that would happen in a real audition or with a vocal coach. But I have also worked with a lot of people who are very stubborn and very unwilling to actually learn. They'll come to you or they'll come to the audition and you're just wondering why it is that they're there. <laughs> because if they are not willing to, to improve themselves in any way, it it's very frustrating. I would just refund the money and say, I'm sorry, this isn't gonna work. I recommend them to somebody else. I will not stop until I am a household name. When America sees this, they're gonna forget about Taylor Who, Carrie Underwear. Oh <laughs> I mean, Fantasia <laughs> Wen, uh, but they will remember Ian that's funny. Benardo. And that's if this happen. doesn't work out for that's him, he's, he's really that's funny. Yours. He could be a beauty guru or something. Hi, how you been? Hello. Hello, oh. how are you? Good. How are you? What's, what's your name? My name is Ian Benardo. It's my name. <laughs> how old are you? I am 25 years old, Mr. Cowell. All right, and why are you here, Ian? <laughs> to try out for American Idol. Oh my God. <laughs> I know that. Like, That's good. Uh, That's no. cool. Like, why else would I be at American Idol? I'm here to be the next American Idol. I thought that it would be a nice addition to my already long and impressive resume. Which is? Which is superstar, dancer, singer, <laughs> and this is chinchilla, and I'm wearing it specifically to show the world how wealthy I can be. Well, you're not oh a my god! But you are. I know that. Okay, look, I, I I can tell that he's putting on a show and maybe trying to do be weird on purpose or funny on purpose, perhaps. <laughs> but this is these are all the things you don't want to do in, a, in an audition. You might want to crack like one or two like lighthearted jokes, but you don't want to carry on and waste their time because that's what he's doing at this point, and it's just getting obnoxious to them. I am a superstar. No, with respect, Ian, you're not a superstar, but you may be a singer and a dancer. I am a singer, I'm a dancer, and I am a superstar. You can ask my family, you can ask my friend, you can ask one of my therapists. I am. What are you therapists do you have? I have two. What are you going to say? Gloria? He's so funny, though. Gloria, you're always on the run now, running after somebody. You're going to get him somehow. I think you got to slow down before you start to blow it. I think you're headed for a breakdown, so be careful not oh to show God. it. You really don't remember. Was it something that he said or the voices in your head calling Gloria? Gloria? It sounds like he's just being funny. He's just talking on pitch and doing it very fast and not really even on the right pitches. There's not much more to say about this. This is not a serious audition. Don't you think you're falling? If everybody wants you, why isn't anybody calling? It's very funny, though. You don't have to answer. Leave him hanging on the line. Hey, hey, hey. Calling Gloria. Can, so, okay, so, but can you imagine, by the way, being the judges? They do come off as rude and so they do play it up for television, but having to sit through auditions like this hours and upon hours upon hours upon hours upon hours it might be funny a, a couple of times but after a while it really does get on your nerves how are you gonna go down will you meet okay. him on the main line okay. or will you okay. catch him on the rebound will okay. you marry for it? okay randy oh uh, god dude i don't even know what to say thank you <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean it that way so but. funny <laughs> Three syllables, Hollywood, like it's not that hard. Let me tell you what this was, Ian. <laughs> this was a very hammy, bad audition for you as something you aspire to be, which obviously isn't a singer. And you, it's, bad, it's not funny. You're not good at anything. <laughs> and this is all your <laughs> lips. No, no, I, and I haven't finished yet. Ian, what an American Ian, I haven't Idol finished is. yet, okay? Oh, my God. It's just rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> the interaction between Simon and that guy was really funny. But anyway, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Hopefully y'all learned something about auditioning from this. Um, and until next time, Tristan's and Tristan, peace out.